This is the District 6 Museum. Those are all the street signs rescued after the district was demolished. It's a multiracial area in Cape Town. It was redesignated for white people only and the whole area was bulldozed. And it was never actually properly built on because there was such an outcry about what had been done. Apartheid signs. These public premises and amenities they're often been reserved for exclusive use for white people. And parking area for three taxis and non-whites. How ridiculous. Anyway, now District 6 was very big, it was a huge, in fact, this was the biggest area in South Africa, between 65 and 70,000 people lived in the area. Jews, Muslims, Christians, Indians, Hindus, Portuguese, Chinese, Japanese, and African Americans. So we had no problem with colorism in the region. We love each other, we care for each other. But the government didn't like that. Mm. You see, because we printed in the picture, it can work yes, if we can live together. Yeah. Mm. So February 11, 1966, the government declared the city a white zone area. And then in 1970, they sent in the first bulldozer. Mm. And then they started demolishing all that. It took them 11 years, gradually, straight by straight. Gosh. Many people died of broken hearts. Mm -hmm. My father, I'm now 67 years old. My father was also in his early 60s when he had to leave his home. And I still remember how my father died. He didn't want to go because this was his home. Yeah. This is where we used to live. It was our home. Big double story home. Yeah. 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 You wanted to leave? No. Now, the, the, the idea of the government was, you know, to separate people, split up families also. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, you know, but we were called colored, so all our colored people had to look at the colored dancers. The Indians and Hindus were sent to the Indian dancers, and all the African people were sent to the black dancers, like the Flamengo and the Yandra, the Tide, etc. My friend was colored, he was married to an African lady. Yeah. Three children, small children, they were removed in 1972. They couldn't live together anymore mm. because she was black and he was colored. So the mother had to go to Langa with the three children because the children were so dark skinned. And, and the father was in the middle between the colored dancer when he couldn't see his own wife. If he wanted to see his wife, he's got to go to the police station and get himself a permit to go into the black dancer to see his own wife. And he was allowed to see her three hours, every three months or two hours. So until then, were allowed to marry. Pardon? Were in District 6, yeah, until in District early. 6, until, until, until. they are yeah, yeah. But, but, now this was called the Group Areas Act. Then it was also called the Immorality Act. We couldn't marry a white girl. We couldn't do that. That, that was totally against the law, you know. Because also I had a friend, he was from District 6, he was in love with this beautiful, let's say, white girl from Sea Point. Mm -hmm. They couldn't walk together even, so they went to England, they got married in 74. The end of 75, they came back home like you can't sleep together as husband and wife. <laughs> so he was saying he went to Mitchell Spring where his family moved to and she went back to Sea Point where her family was living, you know. Apartheid, it was, they were crazy, it was, apartheid was bad, really, really bad. We had a hard time, you know. The first show you wear my house used to be. Can you see now the house I showed you was right on the corner there. Oh. Right. That's my name there. Right yeah. in the corner. So, so this is how the area used to look. Mm. This is the whole so area. This is my, right your home, that's my name, yeah. Right there, yeah. Okay. So this is what people also do when they come in. They will oh, write the their names with their names where there. they used to live here. Oh, right. Wow. That is very, yeah. And so it, it was not just mm. obliterating the buildings, it was the street pattern as well being obliterated. Everything. 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 Yeah. everything. Yeah. Even the streets was bulldozed. Yeah. Even the streets were yeah. yeah. Rescue the name. These are all the original street signs, yeah. the former saved it. Yeah. He was supposed to dump everything. And instead of <laughs> dumping, he saved all the signs. <laughs> he kept it in the house for 20 years. Wow. And he donated everything to the museum. This is the Tower of Road Signs. In more detail. All of streets in District 6, all yeah. of which were demolished. 
This is near District 6. This is the kind of architecture District 6 would have consisted of if it had survived.